Hey guys, voiceover Jay here. We had a comment recently asking if we could show off the fun times from our recent Carnival Pride adventure, and I thought, yes, we can do that. Now, I know this video is not going to be quite as exciting because you're not looking at my gorgeous face as you hear my voice, but we'll muddle through somehow. So I figure today we'll show off the most important part of the fun times, which is the daily schedule and the part that shows all the restaurants and things like that that are open. We'll scroll down nice and slow and I can point out the things that caught our eye each day. Now this is a lot of information on each page, so feel free to pause and read as needed. I actually wanted to start with the weekly entertainment schedule, which I've always found very helpful. We've had this on our uh, a few of our most recent cruises, and this has been a very welcome addition to the paperwork family. This shows all of the shows, it shows the shows over the course of the week, the comedians and everything entertaining that's going to be happening. Very handy. And jumping ahead to the fun times, this is for our embarkation day aboard the Pride, which was Sunday, January 28, 2018. Not a whole lot of activities because, you know, it's about a half a day. Plus, we had that wonderful uh, delayed embarkation, so. I don't believe this schedule was altered because of the delay, so this should be, I would say, what a normal embarkation day schedule would look like. We didn't end up doing a whole lot on this day, but of course, you know, they have comedy and they have the nightclub where you can get your dance on. Fun, fun stuff. Jumping ahead to our first full fun day at sea, which was Monday, January 29th. We always loved the morning show, but we didn't actually make any morning shows this trip. And of course, you have all sorts of trivia like Friends and One Hit Wonders. Cooking demonstration, we do love those, but again, we did not do that this time. Harry Potter trivia and Clue and the Thriller dance class is always a hit. Sports trivia and of course the evening show was Heart of Soul, which actually was canceled on our sailing because it was too rough, but it's a good show. Our second fun day at sea, Tuesday, January 30th. We would always like to do things like morning trivia. Pretty sure we slept and didn't do any of that. Name that musical trivia, which we did do in D1. Hip hop dance class, Simpsons trivia, Trivial Pursuit, lip sync battle auditions, all sorts of fun stuff going on this day. Carnival Tower, which is giant Jenga. Sports trivia again. And the show that evening was Getaway Island, full of smells and smoke and fire doors slamming shut. Good times. Our first port day was Port Canaveral, Wednesday, January 31st. Again, we've got the information for the port up at the top and less activities because people theoretically are off the ship. But you still have some trivias like movie quotes, guess the year, fact or fiction, beanbag toss, not that that's a trivia, Elvis Presley trivia, sports trivia, look at that sports every day, karaoke going on, Hasbro the game show, 80s and 90s trivia, oh we went to that, that was the big dance off up front where you name that tune. Our next day was Nassau Day, Thursday, February 1st, Fab Abs class, I already have Fab Abs, so I didn't go to that, morning trivia, movie music quiz, food trivia, mind game, Yahtzee, television trivia, can you tell we like trivia? NFL trivia, oh, not just sports, but specifically NFL. Karaoke, the evening show was 88 Keys, the piano show. Photo time with Dr. Seuss, hey, we almost got in on that. And a Mardi Gras party in the lobby after the show. Next up was Freeport Day, Friday, February 2nd. We got the port information at the top. Fab abs again, mm, hole in one challenge on the sports deck. Outrageous laws trivia, synchronized swimming. I'm sad that we missed synchronized swimming. I was kind of excited for that, but of course we were off in Freeport having fun. Cartoon trivia, towel folding, family games, sports trivia again. And the show that evening was 80s pop to the max, which was pretty awesome. Rock and glow party that night, all sorts of comedy. And then our final sea day, Saturday the 3rd of February. I always love the one called Curl Up and Die Hair Academy. Not that I've been to it, it's just a great name. Nerds trivia, ping pong, Game of Thrones trivia, Trivial Pursuit again, ice carving, all sorts of stuff going on this last sea day. Full house trivia, speak out, reverse charades, lip sync battle was the show that evening. Again, comedy, and look at that free cruise giveaway. I guess if that's if you spend a ton of money in the casino, heck, you might be able to win a free cruise. So that's the basics of every day's activities and events and things on the cruise. I also had the back side of the stuff on there so you can see when the restaurants were open. All the sea days, you have the sea day brunch. On the port days, you have the new port day breakfast menu. I'm getting ready to do a feature video on everything we've eaten off of the port day breakfast menu because that's actually a nice change. I'm a lot more excited about some of the things on the new port day menu than I am about the stuff that was on the old menu. One thing I didn't see that we usually enjoy doing on the ships is arts and crafts. I was really missing the arts and crafts this time. It may have been there and I overlooked it, but I didn't see it. 
And that's about it for this video. So hopefully you enjoyed this little feature on the fun times. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. We've got all sorts of adventures and excitement coming up. Hit that button and become a paromaniac today. Make sure to socialize all our media. We got Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, among others. And until next time, rock on.